everyone, it's Coach Ross with Coach Ross Football. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to tag a motion and swing pass for your H receiver. It's great to pair with the inside zone run scheme. This tag adds a great little wrinkle into your offense. If you like this video or any other videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified anytime I release a new video. Now, let's break down this H motion tag. All right, so here is the breakdown of our tag that we like to use. Again, we're here in doubles formation. We run this out of doubles. Uh, doubles is X and H are always on the left. Z and Y are always on the right. In our, in our tag, we would send H into a pre-snap motion, and he lines up and gets set behind the quarterback. And then once the ball is snapped, H is running a swing route out to the outside, and F is running his inside zone. Now we can do this from either side too as well. Um, <clears throat> and then based on this play and based on the movement of the defense, uh, we can then tag on the swing and fake the zone. And so what we do with this, what we like to do with this play, these uh, couple of plays is we like to see how the defense reacts. A lot of times we see the defense move and react a little bit uh, with the motion. If they don't, that tells us some things as well. So we read the player that lines up head up over the motion man to see if he reacts, if he moves, uh, that tells us a lot. And then next thing we watch is we watch his linebacker that is over Z. Does he get caught chasing the swing? If he does, it opens up the zone because it keeps only one player in the box for the zone. Or does he chase the zone and then it opens up the swing? And that based, you know, based on what we call first and we see how that the defense reacts determines what we call with the next play, and we might come back to it a little bit later. This is just another thing we added off the uh, the H uh, back motion here. Based on that, we also, again, H in our offense is one of our better athletes, is if not the best athlete, so he can do a little bit of everything. So we run him in jet, we put him in motion. Again, like my previous video showed you, we just try and find different ways to get him the ball. So again, we'll put him in the pre-snap motion, but in this time, We'll have a little bit different of a formation to try and give us a little bit more of an advantage. So we will stack the right side receivers in hopes that the corner then takes the uh, front receiver right there. And we have Z running a simple little snag route or stick route in between the two middle, uh, in between the linebackers. And then we have Z kind of almost like a wheel route to the outside, getting vertical and getting deep. And so what we do is we have H again into his pre-snap motion, gets, snap, gets set behind the quarterback, and then he's running his swing. But instead, it's going to be more of a toss. The quarterback's going to toss the ball, and H is going to set up right here about five yards in the backfield and set up and try and get the ball deep to Y in hopes that the linebacker here is trailing uh, Y and is already behind him and does not have an easy way to catch up because his eyes are caught with the, with the crossing of the receivers and his reaction time is delayed a little bit. So it gives the receiver a little bit of a beat down the field. And F here is helping with the protection here, helping with pass protection, picking up most, most dangerous man and the, uh, the outside rusher coming closest to, uh, to where H would be when he throws the ball. All right, needs a couple cut-ups here. I'm going to show you first the inside zone, and then the second one will be the swing pass, and then the last one will be the little H toss throw that we have. In this first one right here, again, we are watching to see how these linebackers adjust to the motion, and then on top of that to see if they follow the H on the, on the fake swing because we're running the inside zone here. And again, we are trying to set up the swing pass to see how – uh, they react, so we're watching from the sideline to see how this defender and this defender react based on the inside zone and based on what the H does on the swing to see if they follow. So we get them in going in motion, hand it off, and then fake the swing. And we didn't really get much mo movement out of here, so we we saw all this open grass here, so we came back to it later on in the game to try and throw the swing pass. And here's a video of the swing pass. Fake the zone, fake the handoff to the zone, give him a swing, and it's a good little pickup for an easy completion. Now this next play right here, this is again the H 
toss, and then he throws the, the vertical to the Y receiver. He, again, you can't see the receivers here, but they are stacked. Having the front receiver, which is the Z receiver, running the snag or hitch route right in between the linebackers. And then the Y is running a wheel, getting vertical, having the linebacker give chase, and the H back makes a, a great throw for a touchdown on this play. Now, these are just a couple of examples of how a simple little tag with the H-back can add a nice little wrinkle to your offense. So, coaches, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. Um, and I hope to see you again soon here in the next video.